What's up? I'm Yasmin Young from the Morning Madhouse right here on Power98FM.com. Future Flavors Music Summit. Um, we got Brian Michael Cox, songwriter, producer, Grammy Award winner, the man. And we've got a newcomer R&B artist, Bertel, here. Um, so just talk real quick about your experience here at the Future Flavors Music Summit and connecting with some of the up-and-coming artists, songwriters, producers. I mean, for me, it's always a uh, way to get back. You know, I think the biggest... The biggest thing I can give is education. So whenever I have an opportunity to educate, they can kind of give a backstory on what's on what the business is, or give a backstory, back backstory on how to use all the um, and give people insight on how to make these answers. Um, I'm, I'm always willing and able to do it. And uh, it's always good to see bright young faces um, and, and see how to energize it all and be able to try to use it So, you know. And Bertel, being kind of a newcomer to the industry, what's your take on this? I'm sure you went to many of these before you actually really got put on, put on. Um, what's, your, what's your experience been here? Um, knowledge is power. You know, when you get up there and you see Sean Gary get up there and tell his, his story of how he came up and how he created, how he appropriate all his music and what he's doing, and he'll be conscious of his story kind of gives you insight on whatever you do personally that you that you're not doing it wrong. You know what I mean? It's no it's no blueprint. It's it's, it's more of an inside internal feeling that you make visual art or you make ear art, whichever way it go. Art is art. You know what I mean? So when you see those people talk, it's, it's it got to be in you. Bottom line, it's basically that's what I get from everybody is that if you, if you want it and it's in you and you keep going after it, um, sooner or later you're gonna get it if you got it. Brian, you've been in this industry for more than a decade. How is it that you actually got your stuff? What was it that you did? Um, that, there was, um, I, I grew up in Houston, Texas, and um, I went to school with Beyonce Knowles and Toya Leckie, Kelly Rowe. So, um, my first start, my very first start, came in that situation. Um, I was in a... Um, I was in a production crew, and my mentor was Greg Curtis, and he kind of told me to like, produce since I was like 15, so he kind of gave me the, the group for my production, and then I, and I was a senior in the dance, and I went to school, and we became friends, and she heard some of my songs, and told her about her about me, and the pop came me, and my first real session was with her. Um, um, so not a person, yeah. her building those personal Yeah, real yeah. production, but then when I moved to Atlanta, Oh um, my God! With this company called Noon Time, and Noon Time. I remember Noon Time. Um, Jim Crow wasn't Jim Crow was signed okay. Noon Time Records. Um, Noon Time Productions, the uh, production company, was really like the heavy. It was me, Jazzy Faye, okay. Teddy Bishop, J Dub, Dent, um, uh, and, and, and we kind of built this southern version of the hidden. You know what I'm saying? What was, at the time, you know, Bad Boy Hidden was off, off on Smash. And we kind of built that same kind of energy in the South. We were Tony Braxton, and Leah, Jack and Ash, and I met your man, and I started working with uh, Mariah. And it just kind of just. Domino effect. Domino effect. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, um, and then here we are. You know, I'm, you know, I'm 15 years old. You know, still, you know, still keeping it. Good. Now, Bertel, for you, what is it that you're doing to kind of stand out from all the other R&B artists that are coming up, that are, you know, the new ones that are in the industry now? Well, Jay-Z said something in his interview he had with Warren Buffett, and he was like, the new artist today is an artist who, know how to, who knows how to do it all, as far as handling his business, as far as not, the, like, because of panels like this, artists can't say they don't know anymore, you know what I mean? So for me, I already know a lot, I'm, I'm real hungry to know more, so for me, I, I do a lot of stuff on my on my own, like, I, I, I learn from trial and error, and I keep building myself and my character that way, so for me, what makes me different is just... What I've gained, what I've, what I know, and, and how I know how to make things happen. Like I go in the studio, literally. If some, if Brian give me a track, if he give me ten tracks, I can literally go in the studio by myself and record ten songs. Record myself, write them, and give them to him, and he'll tell me like, "Yo, you need to do change this, fix that, fix that." He can leave again, come back, and it'll be done. But you know, it, it's just things you learn. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it ain't no babysitting. You, you gotta work. The new artists, you can get back off what they really say. Me, me and Bertel are, are partners, you know what I'm saying? I think that that is the new business model, you know what I mean? You know, you want to have, because I'm a creative person too, so I go with my creative changes. He has to be able to maintain his, his business, you know what I mean? Um, 
So, so the way we structure our deal is, is quite uh, extraordinary because we are, you know, it, we're, we're, it's, 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 I don't think that you know, the deal is like how we do our deal. You know, we're partners from the gate and I depend on him to handle him and he depends on my ear and my, and my you know, expertise to say, if you're going in the right direction or no, it's bad business, you know what I mean? And it works, you know what I'm saying? It works better than any situation I've ever had. Um, it, 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 the pressure is burning off for me to have to do everything, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I, in the past, I couldn't trust artists to handle their own thing, you know what I mean? You know, I can trust him to handle his own thing, he's going to handle what he can. He's a businessman, so I think that that is even, it's, he's not just an artist, he's a, he's a business. Okay. Well, last question. Um, just give you know a couple words of advice to those future singer songwriters, producers that may be watching this that are looking up to you all. You know, as inspiration. Inspiration words. The power of belief is within yourself. You know, you gotta. If you believe, that's all that matters. Hands down, nothing else matters. If you believe, and you believe in yourself, nothing else matters. Um, I mean, that's how to follow that one. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> no, he pretty much said it. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, as a as a as a producer and somebody who really just I dreamed it and it happened. You know what I mean? Um, but the dream didn't come without action. I mean, um, you know, I walked from Clark Atlanta University to Face Records, and that, you know, anybody who lives in Atlanta knows it, and knows where the Face Records used to be, um, knows that that's not, you know, that's like a three-hour walk, you know what I mean, um, to find my destiny, you know what I mean, um, you know, action, man, take action. Take, take your career into your own hands and take action. You know what I'm saying? Sit around be accountable and, for your own career and too. Be accountable for it. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just like being accountable for your own actions. Be accountable for your own career. Um, take control of it, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't depend on anybody to, to do it for you. You know what I mean? Um, get out there. And that's how me and him connected. He was out there on his ground on his own. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't, he wasn't looking for me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't looking for him. We kind of just found each other. In the in the space of us doing what we do on our own, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's the best example. Like, if you be the most talented person in the world and not get nowhere because you expect somebody to do something for you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can be talented and have hustle and get on and get yourself on and be a whole other thing. So, Basically, I'm picking back off this. That what he said is basically the same thing I'm saying. <laughs> the power of belief, man, is in, is in yourself, and you gotta go get it. All right, Brian Michael Cox, Rattel, thank you so much for being here at the Future Flavors Music Summit and doing this. You know, just giving that little piece of advice, a little piece of yourself to the future artists coming up. We appreciate it. Absolutely, Gucci. <laughs>